all of you that are um, sharing, if you have an active social page, whatever it is you're doing, whatever tables you get the um, the privilege to to be at, please do share the census. And um, there's a lot of collateral, you know, um, digital flyers and other collateral um, available to share. But um, Lisa and uh, Malika and, and Mr. Mann, we're going to put our heads together and come up with one last big community rally for census. And so you're going to hear about it soon on Evanston Live TV and on Lift Your Life Radio and, and Radio La Difference. Uh, Alderman, hmm? I want that caravan. I want the balloons. I want the honking. I want driving through uh the fifth war to let people know that we care about where we live and we are committed to our future our children when we don't fill out the census we let our next generation down that's right yeah so thank you thank you for having me i love coming next time i come i want to give some reparation updates and some yes. other things so um just give me a date and i'm here I'm going to get back on your schedule because we need you to come back. We want to know what's going on with reparations, just what you're doing. And what is this? You're like fifth, uh, fifth term in office because you've got <laughs> so much done. You've, you've been here for a while, right? Yeah, I've been here a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've been the first term. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's amazing. She's amazing. And we love her. Mwah. Thanks so love much. You guys. Thank you. Have See you. Thanks, man. I love the beautiful updates over at your studio. I've seen you online. Great job. Thank you, all the man. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be there. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Okay, Take care. Bye bye. All right. That was Alderman Robin Ruth Simmons, the hardest working Alderman in Evanston, Illinois. We love having her and uh, she keeps us informed and we appreciate that. Uh, I was on vacation for two weeks and so I said when I come back I gotta have all the heavy hitters on, find out what's going on, who's taking care, you know, the caretakers of our community. What are they doing? The real caretakers uh, who can't take time off. You know, they just keep moving. So I sneak in and out every once in a while. But these sisters, they're on uh, the ground every day. And so I wanted to have them on and find out what's going on. So now we have Evanston Live TV on. Hey, Evanston Live TV. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> hey, Mr. Man. I've been seeing you all over. You've gone national. I see your name in headlights, but it's in headlights because you're doing the work for our community. And for that, I thank you. I appreciate that. How are you? I am good. How are you and your family? How's everybody holding up during this crazy time we're in? You know what? One day at a time. One day at a time. But we got to keep it moving, right? That's right. I don't want to waste any time because I want to hear everything that you have to share with us because I know you've got a lot. So I am going to turn uh, the mic over to Malika Gardner, founder of Evanston Live TV, the voice of the people. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you, Mr. Mann. Um, as everyone, well, not everyone knows, but I've been working on uh, some legislation uh, Bill HB 4954, which I've come on to um, Lift Your Life Radio um, a couple times to talk about. And uh, being on Lift Your Life Radio La de France, it, it really helped to uh, get the word out and get more support behind the bill. Wonderful. The bill is about Black history expansion. You know, they're trying to not teach Black history, period. And we've even heard Trump recently yeah. talking about... Uh, he doesn't want slavery taught in the curriculum yeah. and that he plans to not fund uh, states who want to teach slavery. He'd rather the, the kids learn about patriotism. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that means <laughs> in, in his world. Um, so it's like it's, it's perfect timing uh, because HB 4954, I wrote the amendment to the bill. It's uh, Representative LaShawn K. Ford's bill. And uh, I had approached him about an amendment to the bill where we not only teach slavery, the truth of slavery, but we also teach pre-enslavement, mm -hmm. who black people were prior to yes, becoming hello. slave. We yes, existed. we existed. It's very, very important, very important that people know the truth of who black people were prior to. Yes. 
So, you know, we've been pushing and I've got some great volunteers. We built a coalition of volunteers. They've been emailing and calling House representatives, and it's been awesome. We've gotten uh, more House representatives on as co-sponsors. We've got a few senators on as co-sponsors. And from that bill birthed a new bill, another bill that um, I'm actually calling, uh, Representative Ford is allowing me to name it, the American History Bill. Oh, wow. Congratulations. I didn't know about this. See, so much has happened, right? You can't take a day off. (laughs) Yes, yes. Well, this bill came about because during the hearing, which, you know, you had allowed me to come on to talk about what was going to happen before the hearing, and then I came back on to talk about the results of that hearing. Mm -hmm. Um, There were some Republicans and one Democrat who voted against HB 4954, and their reasoning was, well, if we do this for the black people, then we'll have to do it for everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we'll just keep lying because that's easier. <laughs> right. We'll just keep lying and miseducating the youth right. and, right. you know, feeding more into systemic racism. Yeah, we, 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 we prefer that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Representative Ford said in that hearing, he gave him a warning. He said, well, if you're voting no against this bill, that means you're wanting to continue the miseducation of our children about what black people have contributed to this country, to build this country for free. Hmm. So he said, well, how about this? How about we suspend, we abolish American history? How about that? Hmm. Until you decide to do it right. So he made good on that, on that promise. So he's, uh, that's, that's the national news you've been hearing about on yes. CNN and, and, and all of that is suspending American history until they decide to include everybody who helped to build this nation. Because right now in our textbooks, the white man is seen as the hero, as the only people who have built this country. And we know that that's not true. And that feeds into systemic racism starting them young, you know, at five years old. So they, white boys and girls, just grow up believing they are superior and right. that's because of the American history lessons, the textbooks. Yes. yes. Well, yes. We're determined to end that. Um, Representative four will be filing that new bill. So we'll have a new bill number coming up and we have the new session coming up in November. So that's why I was like, I got to talk to Lisa. I got to get back on lift your life radio because we're coming in for that home stretch. They will be casting their vote, the house representatives, in November, they go back in session, and so we need we need everybody to contact as many House representatives as you possibly possibly can. Of course, call your own. Mm-hmm. It's going to be important to them that um, that they have your support to even reelect them. So you got to express how you feel about HB four nine five four because they, they go back November to, to vote on it. And then also we have the American History Bill coming up as well. Malika, the last time you were on, and I know you didn't come with it today because I gave you such short notice, but if you can forward to us again um, the numbers, because that really helped. We sent the numbers out to our listeners and they were able to call. So if you could forward that to me again this week, we will make sure that we um, send those numbers out so that our listeners and our viewers um, can contact their elected officials. Yes, if they can contact as many as they possibly can, you can call 10 of them. You can email them if you don't feel comfortable. Even if it's not yours, right? right? Right, right. So our team of volunteers, they've been calling 12 at a time or emailing, whatever's more comfortable for you. Um, and now we are also calling Madigan's office, the house. Speaker. Yes. yes. And you know what? We're, we're on, uh, 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 what is this thing? My, do- I can't, I, uh, help me. I just forgot. Quarantine. We're in, we're in quarantine, right? We don't have anything else to do. So call. I, that's what I do. I take my lunch hour and I call when we had to call for Jacob Blake. I just called every number that they sent me. I spent an hour. I went through the entire list and then I started all over again and I did it for a full hour. Give your children, give our future an hour of your day or an hour of your week. I mean, if we can get on TikTok. If we can watch, you know, um, Netflix, surely 
we can dedicate an hour to our children and to our future. They need to know the truth. I remember. I remember being in school and sitting through those lies. And the reason I knew they were lies is because we had that extra piece, right? We had that Haitian piece. So because I knew the history of Haiti, I knew that so much of what they were teaching was untrue. And so every single assignment, um, when, you know, we had to write about somebody famous, my parents were like, pick a Haitian, right? Uh, I don't know if you, uh, Malika, had uh, talent shows when you were in grade school. Mm -hmm. During our talent shows, my mother would have us get on stage and do the cultural Haitian dance. She would have me sing cultural Haitian songs at my talent shows. Nobody understood what I was saying, but we knew, and we were proud people. And that's what we want for every African-American, every black person in America, that we know our true roots. That's right. That when they say, um, you know, because they love saying the first, uh, uh, you know, surgeon or the first pilot, here in the United States of America, we may be the first, but our people mm-hmm. have been doing it all over the world That's right. much longer than the United States of America has been in existence. That's right. That's right. That's my two cents. <laughs> I love your two cents. <laughs> yes, we need, we need more black children in the school sitting there in class feeling proud of what their people contributed to this country. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Feel so much self-value, self-worth, and create more respect from other children, other nationalities in their class. Absolutely. Because the truth is, you know, our great grandparents are the ones who built all this stuff for you. For mm-hmm. the- Mm-hmm. Yes. So um, let's tell the truth. It's time to tell the truth. It's time to tell the truth. Tell we the don't truth. want history made up. Mm-hmm. We just want it to be realistic. We want it to be uh, 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 the truth. We want to hear the truth, and our children deserve to hear the truth. And so, Malika, how can they reach Evanston Live TV? Uh, they can email me, EvanstonLiveTV at gmail.com. And I also want to say with the new bill that we'll be filing, getting the new number on, uh, the American History Bill, it's going to be a focus on contributions of women. You know, we just lost Ruth Bader, um, who made it a point that women have to be at the table. And I truly believe in American history, like women aren't even represented. What all we've done. Right. So, um I want people to know HB 4954 is a focus on us, the black community, what our contributions are, what we've done, and the American History Bill is a focus on black people, Native Americans, women, and other nationalities who helped to build this nation and to tell the truth of what white men and women actually did in American history. Right. (laughs) The truth. And you know what? Um, it, there's no love loss. I'm not blaming the white person sitting next to me um, unless you refuse to join me. <laughs> so I know you, it wasn't your fault. But right now, you have the ability to help us make it right. So we need you right. to call your elected officials as well. You can't just sit back and say, oh, they did a horrible thing. And you're not participating in creating a solution. We need you too. And 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 you know what, oh, Malika? I mean, you know, I never considered myself a militant, but at this point, you know, people just need to show up, show up. And if that means that um, relationships change, then relationships just change. Because I have to be true to my people. They're my people. Um, I was on Facebook just the other day and I was sharing that I don't need anyone to tell me about my people. They're my people. I know my people. And my responsibility is to show up for my people. And so if you're willing to do that, then you become my ally. You can't lead me, but you become my ally. And as my ally, together, we will create change. But I must lead a movement that belongs to me. 
That's right. And and I have to say, there have been a lot of white allies who are in my coalition making those calls and those emails. I've seen them. They, I've seen them. them. They don't want any uh, adoration. They don't want recognition. They're just doing the work. I've seen them. I've seen them because I've been reading <laughs> up on that. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Everyone who speaks positively about the future of blacks in my community i appreciate that and as we lead as we lead what belongs to us we thank you for working as an ally yes yes i, I, I have to say i yeah. i love i love the true allies yeah love them they yeah. don't want to be known they don't want their name out there you know, they're like, well, it's, not, support. <laughs> it's not their time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's just not your time. You mm -hmm. have your time. Now it's our time. And so we need you pushing us from behind, holding up our bags, making sure that we succeed. That's what true allies um, do. As my children, it's, it's my daughter's time now. I'm not trying to be in the limelight. I'm trying to push her into it, right? And making sure that she's successful in entering the, 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 the corporate world, entering the workplace. It's my job. It's her time. And so now I'm taking a back seat and I'm pushing her forward. And that's what true allies do. That, that is true. That is true. How's your mom? Mom is good. She's been pumping out the mask. Um, you know, she has value life designs and designing masks and, and selling them. She, she, COVID has been kind of like a bittersweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just been, we're in a crazy time period right now. Yeah. And I truly, I truly believe some good is coming out of this, this time. Oh, it's been breaking down a system, exposing yes. a lot of things, yes. exposing. Yeah, a lot of things. God has a way of doing that. <laughs> yeah, God has a way of doing that, doesn't he? Yes, he does. That's why we just leave it to him. We leave it to him. You know what? Uh, Release it to him. Release yes. it to him. Yes. Before I forget, how do they contact your mom? And then I'm going to share something with you that um, happened over the weekend. So how do they reach your mom for their mask? Uh, value life designs at gmail.com. designs at gmail.com. And if you want to support the bill, become a volunteer, get get the numbers and the list. I can provide all the information for you. Evanston Live TV at gmail.com. Excellent. You know, we are always grateful in the Lode household for Evanston Live TV because when Jude was running um, for office, when my brother was running for office um, as the only male, black male candidate for the school board, um, you were the news outlet that sought him out and interviewed him. And because of your interview, like I soon after you put it up, there were like a thousand views. Um, you know, people started to donate even more. People who didn't know Jude got to know Jude. And so we've always been grateful for Evanston Live TV because you were there for the community. That's why I always smile when, when I uh, say your tagline, the voice of the people, because you gave our campaign voice in a number of areas where we didn't yet have it. So thank you so much for that. You've always been a friend to our family. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't think people know how powerful you are, woman, because you are trained in well, one, it comes naturally to you. <laughs> it was a career and you're trained at it to motivate people. So when I would listen to your show and, you know, the little time that we worked together and then I had been by your house when you had did your women's luncheon, I was like, this woman is so uplifting and just speaks power into other women. And it just feels so good. It feels so good to have that, that support. And... I just love you, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I want to share, thank you. I wanted to share with you, I went to a women's conference this past weekend um, at Faith Temple Church, virtually, of course, and they were talking about how big God is, right? And that all we have to do is start small. And you, you may not have the money that, um, you know, others have. You may not have... 
um, the, the network that others have, but God can take what we do when we start small and make it big in him, right? And so that's what we thank him for. Um, you know, uh, there's so much to go around. I always say we don't have to covet what someone else has um, because God has more than enough for us. So as we work together as a people, we'll all achieve that success that glorifies him. Oh, most definitely. Every morning when I wake up, my first conversation is with God before I get out the bed. And I just say, Whatever you want me to do, just give me what I need, whatever you want me to do. It's, I don't even uh, focus so much on what Malika wants anymore. I mean, at the age I'm at, I'm not going to say how old I am. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <not funny. laughs> but where I am right now in this second go round, this second chapter of life, I just want whatever God wants. So I just say, whatever you want me to do, guide my steps today. Mm-hmm. Feel me, whatever you know I need to to do it. I just want to do whatever he wants me to do. And that's, that is it. Yeah. And that's, that's why you, and that's why he's blowing you up. That's why we're seeing you nationally. That's why your work is expanding. That's why your territory is expanding. And so we just want you to know that you, whenever you have a few minutes, you can always stop by and lift your light radio <laughs> on a radio la différence. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. And Evan, you know, Evans to Live TV, the door is always open, always open to you. Always. I believe that. You are a beautiful, amazing, powerful woman. Thank you so much. Well, that is our special guest who's leaving us, Malika Gardner from Evanston Life TV. Yes, you've seen her on national news. She is working for our children, working for our youth, working for our future and our past. She wants the past told. She wants our children to know how great we are as a people. And so we appreciate all of your hard work. Be blessed, my sister. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was Malika Gardner, founder of Lift Your Life Radio. Oh, founder of uh, Evans and Life TV. And she was visiting Lift Your Life Radio on Radio Latifin. We're always happy to see all of our sisters um, on the show doing the work for our community. And we want to be sure and support, as we always do, on Radio La Diference. Radio La Diference is here for our community. That's why you see um, individuals from all walks of life on our station bringing you news, um, information, entertainment. Um, that's what we do. And we're a global station, so you can click on at any time. And uh, there might be a language that you don't understand, but stick with us. You'll figure out what we're talking about. Mr. Man. <laughs> 